Recently, an advertisement for the fragrance Invictus by Paco Rabanne was broadcast. Since its introduction to the market several years ago, this fragrance's previous advertising campaigns have frequently centered on Greek gods in athletic attire. This latest advertisement, however, adopted a different approach. It showcased athletes who deviated from the archetypal Greek god figure, a few were merely average in appearance, while one was visibly impaired and confined to a wheelchair. Having been filmed the previous year, the commercial has returned for the Christmas season. This advertisement was distinctive in that it featured non-mainstream team sports as opposed to the more conventional ones observed in competitions like the Invictus Games. Even though the advertisement lasted only 30 seconds, it reiterated the motto of Invictus Games, I am, I am, I am. A Reddit user commented on this advertisement, finding it exceptionally humorous. It was noted that the royals, specifically Harry and Meghan, have faced allegations of plagiarism pertaining to a wide range of materials and concepts, including dramas, streaming concepts, podcasts, and leaked stories. They observed that the Invictus advertisement's use of the I motif appeared to be an additional example of derived creativity. The financial resources of the Invictus Games Foundation, an organization that aids wounded, injured, and ailing military personnel, might be insufficient to pursue legal recourse against a significant corporation such as Paco Riban. While it is possible that they could issue a few cease and desist letters, it may be difficult for them to pursue legal action given that the phrase and concept of I am were derived from a poem authored by William Ernest Henley. Furthermore, the commenter referenced the cinematic work Invictus, which examined the unifying power of athletics in a nation during the era of Nelson Mandela. The Prince's trust and Prince Harry's transition into the United States constituted the concept underlying the Invictus Games. Although the Prince and Princess of Wales, the Queen, King Charles III, Prince Edward, and the Prince and Princess of Wales extended assistance and endeavored to assign Harry significant undertakings, he demonstrated a lack of enthusiasm for operating within the established royal structure. Following criticism that Meghan Markle failed to leverage on the popularity of the television series Suits in the United States, the Reddit user posted the following. Meghan, they suggested, required a team of astute legal professionals to assist her in navigating her professional obstacles. In an article for News.com Australia, royal commentator Daniela Elsa elaborated on each of these observations in detail. The author analyzed Meghan's declining popularity in the United States, notwithstanding her initial surge in media attention in the United Kingdom, and scrutinized the lackluster progress of both Harry and Meghan's careers thereafter. She remarked in jest that their professional path had in some way diminished their formerly promising prospects to mediocrity. Elsa inquired as to the next course of action for the Sussexes, expressing skepticism and jokingly contemplating the necessity of a group of exceptionally talented legal professionals to manage their specific case.